Today we're gonna make an Among Us cake, and boy howdy did it give me a run for my money. I ran into roadblock after roadblock after roadblock, so stick around to find out how I overcame them. Hi friends, my name is Sherry Ray, and this is Every Cake Tells a Story. My goal is to help you build skills, gain confidence, and love others through cake art, or as I like to say, spread love like icing. As I mentioned, this cake was a struggle. Sometimes when my son or I make a mistake, we go all silly and say, oh manners. You'll hear me say that a number of times as I struggle and stumble along. And at one point, it became a dart dater moment. You'll find out why I say that as well. Okay, let's get on with it. I started by getting the cake boards ready. I covered the board with black fondant and splatter painted it with sweet sticks white paint. The Among Us characters are tossed into the wide open abyss to float away forever. Or at least until the next game starts. Then I prepared a template for the ship. The side view was easy because the pictures are available on the internet, but I had to create one for the top down view. I came up with a few designs and decided this was the best one. I glued some cardboard together, cut it to shape, and covered the top with foil tape. Then it was time to start stacking the cake. I used six inch round and eight inch square cakes to get the basic shape. I did three layers of circles and then moved to the square part. I could have done one circle, one square at the same time. No reason why I didn't here, it, it would have made more sense. The toothpicks you see are a trick I use to help ensure that when I cut my tall cakes into layers and then restack them, that the end result is level. As you can see, I did the same thing to the square portions. I just eyeballed it and cut it to the approximate right shape. Up, up, up I went until I had the height I was looking for. Next, it was time to start carving it down. I laid my template on top of the cake and it was easy to get the shape onto the sides to shape them. So far, so good. And here's my first oh manners moment. As soon as I trimmed the bottom, I realized I hadn't accounted for carving the cake down when I made my cake board. I laid the template aside and did some quick cuts to get the general shape of the cake. Then I grabbed a couple of bench scrapers to lift the cake off the board. Trimmed it all down and moved the cake back to the board. Then I went back to do the finesse cutting. My daughter introduced me to Among Us and I've played with her quite a number of times, but I am so bad at the game. I can never remember the different names of the rooms and someone will walk past me and I can't remember what color they were, red, blue, orange, I don't know. So when it comes time to discuss the suspect, I'm so clueless, no one believes me and I'm one of the first to get the boot. The tail of the ship is so narrow that I added a couple dowels to give it support. My cake boards are pretty thick, so I hammered them down into the board. To smooth out the seam from circle to square cake, I mixed some cake and icing to make that cake pop consistency and smooshed it onto the cake. I then iced the whole cake before moving on to the next step. Oh yeah, when I am the imposter, I can never remember how to tell when the cameras are on or where they even are. Yeah, I am that bad. I should have realized that I'd also struggle making this cake. I then iced the whole cake before moving on to the next step. I used some acetate to curve around the ship to smooth it out. And then I had a brilliant idea! I was going to cover the cake with modeling chocolate because then I figured I could use the heat of my hands to blend out the seams. I've used modeling chocolate for shaping figures and paneling cakes but I hadn't used it like fondant to cover a cake completely. Oh manners, it wasn't going smoothly. I ripped that off and tried again. Okay, it went better this time. The front was a little wonky, so I cut a clean line and tried to blend in the new piece. My hands were too cold though, and the chocolate wasn't melting. No problem, a hot spatula will do, right? Melt and smooth, melt and smooth. It's not working, all oh, manners. I decided to strip that off too and went with my typical route of fondant. You'd think that would go smoothly, 
But hang tight, we have a few more oh manners moments. I draped the fondant over the cake and smoothed it on. You'll see me pushing and pulling the fondant into place and then use a wooden clay tool to tuck it under the cake and cut it off. All of these oh manners moments are exactly why I'm Sherry Ray on this channel. Let me explain. Throughout my life, I have simply been Sherry. But about 10 years ago, when I would write one of my closest friends or a heartfelt message, I started including my middle name. Then when I was thinking about this channel and what I wanted to do and the community I wanted to help create, I realized those messages and those relationships are vulnerable and authentic. And that's exactly what I want to do and be here. Vulnerable and authentic. I don't want to simply create a cake tutorial no one cares about. I want to help create a community of people who love others. And to do so, I need to be sincere. So as a reminder to myself to keep that as my goal, I'm Sherry Ray. And that's why I left all of these oh manners moments in this video. If this authenticity resonates with you, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It looks like it's going great, right? So perfect and smooth, but I'm a little crazy and I hate it when I can't hide seams. I got in my head that this was gonna be hard to cover since the modeling chocolate wasn't working, so I thought, red's gonna be hard too. Anyway, perfectionist me ripped this off to do it in one go. Here's one more old manners moment. No, this is a dart dater moment, but first you have to see this AFB clip to see why we say dart dater in our house. Who are you? Dart dater. Who? Dart dater. All right, dart dater. Take him out. <laughs> dart dater, what happened? <laughs> oh, buddy! <laughs> Just gouged my fondant smoother in. Yep, that was a dark data moment. But now I've moved on to the final attempt. You can see my back dowel is poking up a bit. I thought I could cover it up with the tail, but decided to cut that part of the cake off instead. I built the tail out of modeling chocolate since it's firm and can hold its shape. I just molded and shaped it so it was larger than I wanted and tapered it down towards the back with my fondant smoother and bench scraper. I scored it to shape and then cut it down. The circle was easy as I just pressed the circle cutter in and cut out the innards. If you end up making this cake, make the tail at the same time you carve the cake, then you'll be able to cover the whole thing in one go and avoid that seam fiasco. Finally, it was time to cover the tail with fondant and finish it off just as I did the rest of the plane. I could feel the circle in the chocolate that I already did and I was able to use that as a guide for the final circle. There's that seam! I had to cover that seam with a strip of fondant. I just used a bit of water to glue it down. Deep breath, Sherry. Seams are not that bad. Just move on. Since my modeling chocolate was basically the same color, I just used that for the fins in the tail. I was able to roll out a log and then just smoosh the chocolate onto itself to secure it into that little circle. I got four blades in there and then used my round number 12 tip to cover the center joint. Then it was on to the windows. I rolled out some blue fondant, cut out a circle, and then cut that in half to make the sunroof. Then I went on to make the strip windows below the sunroof. To attach the windows, I added a small amount of water, being careful not to have too much, or it may drip blue water onto the red fondant. I was careful with the blue here too. I turned the tips back while getting it into place instead of letting too much water rest on the red side. After I got all of the front windows in place, I made the side propellers. I mixed some Tylos powder into my red fondant and then rolled it out pretty thick. I cut the exterior circle, left the cutter on, and then went in and cut the inner circle. Leaving that outside circle helped it keep its shape. I used the inner circle for the smaller blades, so I cut an even smaller circle into that. I glued some small strips to the center as blades 
and set them aside to dry for a bit. While they were drying, I gave them a little bit of paper towel support underneath. How was I going to attach the propellers? Skewers and toothpicks with a little bit of modeling chocolate to cover up the wood. It worked perfectly. Time to make some tiny windows with the round number seven tip. These tiny circles are always a pain to glue on. They either fall off my finger before I can get them to the cake, or they don't want to transfer from my finger to the cake. But I did get them on with less difficulty than covering the cake, so there is that. I added the rest of the windows, and then there was only one more thing to add. The sun's reflection. I used Sweet Sticks White again and just painted on the stripes. I did it! Here's the final product. was a ton more work than I anticipated and thankfully I was able to walk away several times. There were plenty of oh manners moments, a dart dater, and let me be honest, I did say stupid cake several times as well. But thankfully I think it turned out pretty well. On the other hand, I haven't played the new map in the game yet. I'm sure I will do a lot worse over there. You saw me carve this Among Us cake, now click right here to see another cake I carved with far less difficulty. I'll see you over there. Bye friends!